Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from Maui, Hawaii, and I just want to share with you tonight how you can be productive when you're bed bound. And I know that might sound funny, but if you're really struggling with chronic fatigue syndrome, I hope these tips will help. And I also know that if you're farther along in recovery, that these concepts you can take and apply to where you are in your recovery right now. So basically, it's really important that you have structure to your day when you're bed bound. You know, when my mother was uh, going through some struggles this year, as I've mentioned in other video, and she was desiring to get back to the gym at 80 years old, okay? She worked out, every, you know, all the time, but she had become bed bound. And it wasn't through CFS, it was through some other health issues that she had. And you know what? We followed this little program that I set up for her and she actually made it back into the gym. And so that was pretty amazing at that time in her life. And so basically what I had encouraged her to do was to look at her day and you know, have some activities that you can do in bed. So first of all, you wanna have some movement. So if you're bed bound, what you can do is get these little exercise bands off of Amazon. And I'm not sure where you are in recovery, you're gonna to have to gauge where you are and what you can do. If you've been doing no movement, you just wanna start with like one little stretch, okay? And maybe lifting up a leg or two or sitting up in bed for a few days. But basically by starting, you will begin to feel that muscle, your muscle tone begin to return and keep a little checklist of it. You need a little checklist and then you can go, okay, I've done two stretches on my band today or I've done two leg lifts, or I sat up for five minutes. And then you want to, once that becomes easy, you want to go, again, you want to extend it a little bit farther. You want to increase incrementally. So you might add one more band stretch. And then once you reach five band stretches, you might start with another band stretch where you work your biceps twice. And then again, you begin to add on to that. So movement is life. And so it's really important when you're spending a lot of time in bed that you get your movement in. And again, if you can have someone do dry brushing on you, uh, very gently in the beginning, maybe just starting with the soles of your feet, then begin to increase over the days and weeks to come. That's the way you wanna just in incrementally improve. Another thing you wanna work into your day is little five minute segments of visualization because you can do this in bed, right? So just take a few minutes to, to just visualize your life as a healthy person. If you can't visualize yourself because that you've been sick for so long, Borrow from someone else, borrow from me, borrow from someone, pretend like you're someone else in your visualization. Doesn't matter, this is an NLP technique that will work for you. And picture yourself doing things that you would love to do. And so that would just be like a little five minute segment, maybe in the morning, maybe once in the afternoon. You want it to be brief. You don't need to go very long on that. So that's another activity that you can do from bed. Now, another thing that I had my mother do when she got up to go to the bathroom was she would do like two little squats or more in the bathroom holding on to the counter. And so that's something that you can do when you are up is have one little exercise, maybe it's two wall push-ups, and again, you'll incrementally increase from there. But that's when you're up and out of bed that you would just do a couple of things See how you go with that for the next few days, and then you very slowly, and don't let the Achiever Beast push you into doing too many, just very incrementally work your way up. Another thing to do is get a very light reading book or audio book. So I selected for my mom, I went into her little library and found Alice in Wonderland, and I thought, perfect, this is light reading, it's enjoyable, it's pleasant, so that's something that you could do, and if you can't read because of CFS, listen to an audiobook that's very light. I recommend a children's book for sure, something that's easy to follow, it doesn't require a lot of cognitive ability. So um, that could be another, if you're able to read, work up to it. Maybe start with a paragraph. That's what I did back in the dark days and then build up. So maybe you could work up eventually to like 20 minutes of light reading. Okay. 
So let's see, you've got your visualization, you have your movement, you have your reading, and now you need a little entertainment. So definitely pull out your iPad was my favorite tool rather than TV because I could have it right on the bed and I could pull up Netflix or I could pull up YouTube, watch travel videos. Rick Steves video channel is great all through Europe. I've just found a new series called My Greek Odyssey on Amazon. I think it's Amazon, it might be Netflix, but basically it's this fella traveling through the Greek islands and those are some of my favorite places in the world. So if you love to travel, that's a place to start. Um, if you love other things like music or history or whatever, find some shows and channels that you can watch for a certain period in the day so you're not just watching TV all day, but it's set and you're doing this intentionally to elevate your spirit and to create those really good connections in your brain, okay? Now, also, if you're at a stage where you could learn and buy some kind of online program, whether it's a recovery program or something you're really interested in, whether it's a little online, what is it, Udemy Academy, you can get these little online programs for like five bucks or something, or really cheap, 20 bucks maybe, little like drawing classes, something that you can do that would inspire you and, and bring some fun activity while you're in bed. Another thing that I had my mom do that I think is very powerful and I do it every single day is I declare scriptures over my body and over my life. And you know, you can use positive affirmations. I find the promises in scripture over uh, our bodies and healing are so powerful. You know, let the weak say I am strong. It's so important for positive things to be coming out of our mouths. And um, so yeah, the declarations, doing that for maybe three to five minutes. You know, these don't have to be long and sustained. They can be very short little bites that just provide some structure in your day. And you can figure out when your most awake times are and then when you just need to be quiet and rest. And that's another activity to put into your day would be meditation or listening to a sleep story on YouTube. Just put that in, sleep story. Find a nice little comforting story that you can listen to that will get your body into a relaxed healing state. So these are just some ideas of how you can begin to create structure in your life when you're bed bound. And again, if you're not bed bound and you're farther along and you're getting out and you're doing things, use this kind of structure. Put in periods for reading, delightful, pleasant reading, and meditation, and declarations, and movement. We all need these things. And so, anyway, I hope that helps, and I hope you'll get a little sheet. I had, I drew a, a little sheet. If I can put one on here, I will. But basically, you'd put in there uh, movement, scripture declaration, meditation, reading, rest, rest is a big one, you want to have some good downtime with your eyes closed, and not horizontal stressing, like Alex Howard says, but actual deep resting. That means you turn your mind off and you get into a very relaxed state. Uh, and then the other things are, I think we said visualization and, and anyway, what you do and then you can check it off. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the week going across and you can check off when you've done it every day. And then that way you can keep track because it really helps for accountability to make sure that you're getting these activities in, in a very gentle way. The last thing you want to do is put too much on your plate when you're bed bound, right? So just start with one of these. And then once you get that down and it feels comfortable, add another one. So take care warriors. Remember, life is not over, it's starting again. And I speak life, health, and wholeness over you you will go back and look at some earlier videos I made because I have a whole library of content and everything that I share really builds on the rest of the library so I don't like I don't want to be taken out of context uh, CFS is not a psychological illness it's a neurological illness classified by the World Health Organization so it helps if you can look at all my video content so you understand where I'm coming from and um, what I've discovered about this illness over the past 10 years that can help you give you some information and inspiration that you need in recovery.